Hello everyone, Matt here from Parse. Today I'm going to show you one of the coolest new features of Parse, Cloud Code. Now Cloud Code allows you to add custom logic to your app's backend without any servers. You write all of your code in JavaScript using our existing JavaScript SDK. That means that all of our client-side features like objects, queries, and even user sessions are all automatically available in Cloud Code. In this screencast, we'll add Cloud Code to the Geolocations sample app. This is a simple app that allows users to drop a pin at their current location. Using Cloud Code, we'll add validation logic as well as a really cool custom cloud function. So let's get started. Before we can use Cloud Code, we need to install the simple parse command line tool. So we'll start by opening up our terminal, or command prompt in Windows, and entering the following command. Don't worry, you can copy paste this line from below or from our docs. With the tool installed, we can now navigate to our apps folder and add the cloud code files using the command parse new. You'll be prompted for your parse account credentials and the app you'll be targeting. In our case, we'll target the geolocations app. This will create a new folder called parse and in there set up everything you'll need to start writing cloud code. So let's start by adding a validation. In the current geolocations app, a user can add multiple pins in quick succession. Now this is not something we want users to do. So let's try disallowing this by only letting users post every minute. Now this could be done client-side in the iOS app, but by running the code in the cloud, we ensure that users can hack around the restriction. So let's start by opening up our main.js file. To implement our validation, we'll use the before save hook. This allows us to run a function every time an object of a given class is either saved or created. We start by declaring a before save hook by specifying the model class it will be targeting, as well as the function that Cloud Code will execute. In this function, we'll query for the number of location objects created by the current user in the last minute. Notice that since the user session is directly available from Cloud Code, we can use the user.current method. In the callback function for the query, we'll return either a success or an error response. And that's it. In the case of an error, Cloud Code will not create the new location object. So now that we are ready to try out our new Cloud Code validation, we can hop back to our terminal or command prop on Windows, navigate to our Cloud Code folder, and enter the command parse deploy. This sends all of our JavaScript code to the parse cloud, which takes care of making sure everything is ready to go. So let's boot up our app and try it out. The first post works fine like before, and the second post fails and shows the error message we entered. Notice that we did not have to change any code in our app to do this. We simply used the parse new command, targeted our existing parse app, wrote some cloud code, and deployed it. That means that you can add this to your existing app today, even if it's in the app store. No updates to push out, and no apps or review to go through. The before safe hook is great when you want to do input validation, normalization of data, or even chaining events when objects are saved. But what if you just want to run an arbitrary function? Well, to do this, Cloud Code allows you to specify your very own cloud functions. In the Geolocations app, for example, what if we wanted to take the user's last 100 check-in posts and find the average location now we could do this on the client side by fetching all 100 of those objects, but that would require us to do a lot of downloading just to get a single point. By using cloud code though, we can do all this processing in the cloud and only return the average location to the user's device. So let's see how this would be implemented. First, we'll open up our main.js file again and use the define method this time to declare a new cloud function with the name getAverageLocation. We'll start by writing the query then calculating the average in the callback, and finally returning the result to the user. Next, we'll boot up Xcode and add all the necessary code to our iOS app. I've already added the views, so we just need to call our cloud code function. To do this, we can use the new pfcloud object and use the method call function in background. We specify the name of our function, the parameters we want to pass, as well as the callback block.
and that's all there is to it. Now that we're ready to try it out, we use parse deploy again to send our updated code to the parse cloud. And we're ready to test out our app. Here's my average location. Hey, it looks like I've been checking in a lot around San Francisco lately. So as we've seen, cloud code is an immensely powerful feature that allows developers to have a truly end-to-end -end solution for their apps. You can so easily add customized functionality in a secure and efficient way. Our goal at Parse is to help developers focus on building the greatest apps, not worry about server nonsense. With the introduction of cloud code, we're truly making this a reality. So forget about servers, try out Parse and cloud code, and as always, we love hearing your feedback. So send us an email if you have any questions. Thanks!